But really, we got to emphasize to them that communicating starts with listening. You don't want to start going in and start talking about things or giving advice, and you don't know what, what the situation is. So the best communicators are great listeners. So listen to your teammates. Where are they coming from? Like, and even if you disagree right away, keep listening. Understand them. What motivates them? Why are they here? What do they want out of the season? What frustrates them? And then you can speak up in whatever might be appropriate. Paraphrase what was said to show that you're understanding them. It's called reflective listening. Um, that change the words a little bit. Use your own words. Understand it and use your words. But, but paraphrase it and go back. That really builds some connection. And then empathize by summarizing the feelings that you're seeing coming from them or hearing from them too. Wow, gosh, that must be really frustrating. Well, I can see how upset you are over this. Rather than be like, you shouldn't be pissed. <laughs> You know, you don't want to be challenging them. You want to be on their side and at least empathize. Even if you disagree, you just want to show that you're, you're, you're listening and you're hearing. And then the last thing is a servant leader. Um, and sometimes you probably know have people in your lives like this or you know adults like this. I mean, I've just seen some people that are all about giving to the, to, to the cost of them. They, they really do give too much and there is giving too much. You have to maintain some balance. And there's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself too. I've heard so many coaches, again, some of these at professional levels, just yelling about what needs to get done. And I'm kind of like, maybe now's a good opportunity to coach. <laughs> we'll tell them exactly how to focus or how to switch up the defense and do it maybe in an encouraging way that believes them rather than you know, yelling and screaming at them or demanding more. Because my experience is, is that athletes don't make mistakes on purpose at any age, at any level. But then when you start to see some problems, then it's the leader's job to remind people what, what the goals are and then get them to refocus. So, hey, Matt, you seem distracted. Get your head in the game and pick up the intensity. Come on, you're better than this, we need you. And I, I put this in italics because that's the part that I think that gets messed up. So, okay, yeah, well, I know how to correct them. Let me tell them what to do. But if you can see how different that would be. Matt, you seem distracted. Come on, get your head in the game and pick up the intensity. That's harsh. If you lift it just at that, you might lose a player. You might get him back. He might respond to being in his face. He might not. But if you add the encouragement, come on, I believe in you, you're better than this. I'm depending on you. Then it's more of a motivation to get them to change. And I think that's critical.